Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here, and today I want to talk about Animal Crossing New Horizons because if you saw my reaction video, I didn't seem too excited even though I've been waiting for a new home console Animal Crossing game for years at this point. I mean, you could tell I was excited when they were starting to talk about it, but when they were showing it, I just felt kind of iffy on it, and that was because I couldn't fully tell if it was half a spinoff, half a real Animal Crossing game. Because I saw the tent and all I could think of was Pocket Camp and just in general, I just wasn't sure. But then I watched the Treehouse coverage and this game looks like everything I ever wanted and more. That trailer did not showcase what this game really has to offer at all. Which I understand it's kind of hard to show it off in a trailer for Animal Crossing because in general the game's kind of hard to advertise. But they could have shown some of this stuff a little bit better. So I'm not going to have footage of the Treehouse coverage because I don't know if Nintendo wants people putting that up. Even though they're cool with a lot of stuff, I'm not sure about the Treehouse coverage, so I'm just going to have the trailer playing in the background. But I'm going to talk about the stuff that they showed off during the Treehouse and what we can look forward to in the full release. So for one, when it comes to getting different tools and furniture, you can actually make a lot of it using the stuff that you find on the island. And they showed a little bit of this with them making the axe and stuff like that, but you actually can get new recipes and you find stuff on the island, whether it be wood or plants or just various things, and then you can make stuff out of it. So that right there is really cool. They showed that way more in depth during the treehouse, and it honestly feels like a mix of like Minecraft or Terraria in an Animal Crossing game. And then they showed this off in the trailer, but it was very subtle where you can actually add furniture outside or inside, which I think a lot can be done with that in terms of customizing your island. And then they showed off something called Nook Miles, something like that, where these are basically achievements that you go for and you get the equivalent of what would be flyer reward points in real life. You get them in Animal Crossing and you can use them on various things. They didn't really go in depth on what you can actually use them on, but you can buy certain things with them and do various things that they're gonna expand upon later. But the system they have for it is seriously like an achievements list. And I think that alone gives people a lot more to do in the game. Because there's a lot of times where you kinda don't really know what to do in your town. So to have a big chunk of just achievements to go for, there's always going to be something to do. And then they also talked about that you can have up to eight people in an island at once, which I don't know if they mean eight different people or eight people including yourself, but regardless, that feature goes online. It's not just local, which I'm sure we all assumed it would have online, but they confirmed it. That's a lot of different people to have on your island at one time. And to get the confirmation that it's online too, that's incredible. Which they kind of hinted at that at the end of the trailer, but to have them expand upon that and actually confirm the online is really good news. And overall, the Treehouse presentation really gave a good feel of that this game is definitely a fully fledged Animal Crossing game, which I pretty much did know it was going to be a true Animal Crossing game, but the way they showed it off, they made it feel almost like it was you just living on an island where there was no... I don't know how to put it to words, because they did show off that there were villagers, but that wasn't until like halfway through the trailer, because in my reaction there was a point where I said, okay, phew, and I was referring to the fact that I thought it was a spinoff for a while, and then that kind of confirmed to me, okay, it's not, but what is this? So I was just confused overall. But the Treehouse presentation definitely alleviated a lot of my concerns about the game. The only thing I'm still curious about is to if the more you progress the island, is that how you get like the Able Sisters or the museum to go to your island? Because that would be kind of lame if they got rid of the museum. I definitely really like to try to catch all the fish and stuff like that for the museum. Which speaking of that, they also talked about how you can get different baits for your fishing pole. Which unless if they did that in New Leaf, which I don't think they did, New Leaf's the only Animal Crossing game I didn't play, that sounds amazing. So there's different recipes for just fishing. So there's probably different recipes for a ton of stuff in this game. So to me, it seems like they just took 
what we all wanted with Animal Crossing, completely expanded upon it, and gave you more stuff to do. So to me, this game looks absolutely incredible, and I cannot wait to see more about it. So that's all I really have to say about this. I just wanted to talk about this because not everyone watches the Treehouse stuff, and I would really recommend watching it for this game because it really alleviated a lot of the concerns I had for this game. So that's all I really have to say about this. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all this. Are you excited for this game? Are you not excited? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this one and support my content, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.